Hi. <laughs> it's me. That one girl that you might have found through that one sideburn video that came out like four days ago. So yeah, um, I'm basically here to do a Q&A because I've had so many people message me and DM me, comment, sending me questions and stuff about my experience with the Sidemen and I figured, let's do a video. So yeah, we're here. Let's do it. If this is something you like, <laughs> then maybe I'll do another one. Who knows? Yeah. I feel like I also need to say thank you for all the memes. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a meme. And I've, I've reached meme, memehood. It's great. I love it. Thank you so much. Honestly, like there's a subreddit for me now. And I'm like, guys, <laughs> you, you like me that much? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! And send me memes. I love memes. Take the piss. I don't care. I'll take it. I can take it. <laughs> so, um, I should probably start off by saying that I do know who the Sidemen are. I did know who the Sidemen were before I started filming with them. I'm not like an advocate for the Sidemen and I watch them every day and I'm religiously must keep up to date with everything that they do with their lives. But I do watch the old video here and there. Although I must say that when I was a little bit younger, I definitely was watching KSI like every day, um, especially his Q&A Sundays, the videos with his brother Deji, all of those videos. One of the questions that you guys were really, really, really interested in knowing was how I actually got involved with the whole shooting video side of it. Um, so I am an actress, mainly failing at the moment, but still an actress. I am part of a lot of casting networks, a lot of like Facebook pages, stuff like that, that a lot of castings and stuff are posted onto. And I was just scrolling through my Facebook one day and came across a casting for a YouTube video. Um, it didn't state that it was a sideline video, it just stated that they were looking for confident, outgoing women. Hell yeah, that's me, let's do it. So I did and I contacted them. I sent my headshot, CV, a little bit about me. And yeah, basically got an email back explaining that it was for a sideboard video for the 20 versus one. And I had actually watched Ethan's one before and it was hilarious. So I kind of knew what I was getting myself into when I did accept the job, but I still went in with like arms wide open, ready to kind of take everything on my chin, basically. I was ready to get rejected, you know, not the first time. Anyway, <laughs> I turned up at the studio at like one. 1 p.m. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um, we were told together a little bit earlier because obviously because of COVID at the moment, we all needed to get a COVID test, which was good. And then we weren't actually allowed into the main studio part until we got a negative test back. So after getting a negative test, woo, uh, we went into the main studio a bit. It was really cool. Just like a massive white room. Well, half white, half black, you know, for lighting effects. Kind of things and then yeah we just sat and waited for all the guys to arrive because i think when i arrived only ethan was there i don't know at least i bumped into him when he came through the door and i was like oh hi <laughs> so yeah <laughs> um so yeah we were just waiting for them to arrive although funnily enough the studio itself it was very interesting basically there was one female toilet and unfortunately it was Basically, I had to walk through the room. You know in the video themselves itself when they're filming their reactions? I have to walk through that room. And by the time that I actually needed to go to the toilet, all of the guys were there. So I just remember kind of walking awkwardly through, <laughs> in, through the room like, hey guys, <laughs> and then into the toilet. So it was a bit awkward. Yeah, not great introduction really to the guys. <laughs> But yeah, the guys were super lovely. Um, I didn't really get the chance to chat to them like one-on-one -on -one a lot because obviously they're there to do their job just as I'm there to do my job. But yeah, I picked up a really good vibe from all of them, so yeah. So once we were all sorted and all the guys were there, we basically got on to shooting the video. So it's pretty much exactly the way that you see it in the video. We walk out, we're in a queue backstage and then we all walk out one at a time. When I <laughs> walked up to go see Harry, funnily enough, we were told not to speak. So th there were so many nerves backstage because we were like, are we, are we gonna talk? Are we gonna talk to him? Like, do we say hi? Do we just do anything? Do we just stand there? So it was really, really awkward. So, well, so I walked out and then he said Hello. hi and then I said hi back. Right. So I was like, okay, cool. We can talk now. This is fine. <laughs> Um, and then obviously we played rock, paper, scissors, I won. Two. And then yeah, and it's it's crazy actually to think that if I hadn't won that rock, paper, scissors, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Pretty crazy. So yeah, funny how my hands chose to go paper. 
yeah <laughs> i think i'm gonna have to do multiple videos i think what i'm gonna try and do is i'm just trying to get all of the sidemen questions in this video and then i'll just have to do a mermaid video at some other point because yeah my mermaid life as you all want to know about is extremely involved and i don't think i'm gonna be able to fit it in, in this i'll just make another video for you so no worries <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I got a yes because I won rock, paper, scissors. Although, funnily enough, as you saw when I walked away, he was like, it would have been a yes anyway. So I was like, well, uh, it would be a yes anyway. It wouldn't be like, a, it's not. It's, not... it's cool. It's fine. I'm used to being rejected. After that, when all of the girls that had been said yes, we then went into the semicircle and then decided to stay or leave or whatever. And yeah, I decided to stay. From there, we waited backstage until we were called forward. Although we weren't really called forward, it was more like you can decide when you want to go kind of thing. I just, I wasn't in a hurry, so I decided to go last. But it was funny because when the other girls go in, they weren't allowed to tell us anything about what had happened. So we were totally left in the dark, which was kind of good because it means that our reactions and everything were 100% genuine. So yeah, it was my turn. So I go in, and I sit down, and the chair is looking a little wobbly opposite me, I'm not gonna lie. So I kind of figured out, obviously now that I've watched the video, I've seen what had happened. And then I'm sat there, and KSI comes out. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, no wait, Harry. Harry comes out, obviously. <laughs> and I was just really surprised, I'm not gonna lie. As I've said before, earlier in this video, I'm a bit of a KSI fan, so I was definitely fangirling a little bit. Um, but obviously I kept my, kept my cool, kept my chill, and um, yeah, went for it. I was definitely shocked, and I think, as I said, you know, I think he definitely came out there trying to shock me, 100%. But the thing is, I've worked with kids as a mermaid for so many years now, I'm so used to craziness and stuff, I just kind of like absorb it and I'm like cool <laughs> so yeah <laughs> um and obviously I was really really happy I got to talk about my mermaiding stuff because it's a huge part of my life at the moment and I absolutely love his reaction to it his just face of like <laughs> the entire time I could not have asked for a better reaction I'm not gonna lie I don't know how the date would have gone if Harry came out you know because the thing is I think it's hard for me to say Anyway, because I don't really know him. When we chatted, it wasn't really a chat, it was literally us playing rock, paper, scissors. And obviously from that, I could kind of tell it was a bit awkward. But uh, it would be yes anyway. It wouldn't be like, a, it's, not, it's, not, it's not. So if anything, I was kind of, I wouldn't say I was happy that I didn't have Harry, but I think it was definitely a relief because I know that KSI is such a strong character. And I think if he wasn't there asking me questions, then like a conversation between me and Harry would have kind of just like been like, <laughs> Nothing happening. <laughs> Honestly, he's such a genuine, lovely guy. Like, I don't hold anything against him. I don't know. I feel like I need someone who's more, like, oomphy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's pretty much my experience. I hope I've covered everything. And obviously, I hope that I've said stuff I'm allowed to say. I mean, there wasn't anything in the contract or anything saying I can't say this stuff, but yeah. Don't come for me. <laughs> Loads of you are also... In fact, wait, before I even say this, I need to say thank you. Honestly, thank you so much, everyone who has found my Instagram, who has found my Twitter that I don't even use, who subscribed to my YouTube, everything. Like, you guys are insane. I have not had a response to me, and especially my mermaiding, like this, ever. And yeah, it, in fact, I was actually a little bit worried about the video being released, because I was really worried about the reaction that some people would have to me and my job. But honestly, I'm just so blown away and I can't thank you guys enough for the support and everything you've given me. It's, yeah, it's unlike anything I could ever imagine. So yeah, literally, thank you so much. And this leads into your questions about whether I'll be collaborating with the Sidemen again. I would love to. I'm not gonna lie, I would absolutely love to. I think doing a mermaid video with them would just be hilarious <laughs> and would be just such <laughs> such a great video for me to be a part of and i mean just to get ksi in a tail i mean come on <laughs> it would be great obviously i don't have any power really over this you know it's all about you guys and keeping the hype 
there kind of thing. So yeah, if it's something that you want to see genuinely, keep posting on the Reddit because I've been posting on the Reddit and one of my posts has been going crazy, so thank you! Post on the Reddit, comments on the videos, like stuff like that just to keep the hype real and who knows, maybe we'll be able to get them in Tails. I sure hope so. <laughs> Thanks for hanging around if you have. <laughs> Sorry if you're just kind of sitting there like, oh gosh, why is she still talking? Anyway, so as I haven't really been able to talk about my mermaid stuff, really, I'll definitely be doing another video on that. I'm also probably gonna do some singing because I know some of you guys were like, oh my gosh, I really wanna hear her sing. <laughs> Which I'm like, thanks so much. <laughs> so yeah, I'll definitely do some singing videos uh, and also cosplay stuff as well. I've had a lot of comments saying you really wanna like see some of my past cosplays, have a little bit of a video about that. So I'll definitely do that. I guess the last thing I can leave you with is one final question that I was asked with a mermaid's mate. I guess you'll just have to wait and see. Bye!